What's up, Bears fans? Live Q&A time. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. Use hashtag Bears or Super Chat to get those questions in on the show. That way, producer Jack can go and find your questions. All right, Bear Forever, appreciate the five bucks. Uh, if the Bears decide to hire a president of football ops, what quali uh, qualities are you looking for, and uh, who do you think would be a good fit? <laughs> a football guy, right? Like someone who knows football. Maybe someone who's been a GM before. Maybe someone... Uh, who's been a player in the last 10 years and understands the current landscape of the NFL, someone who can connect with players, someone who is a good relationships guy, can connect with the GM and the head coach. I think that's important for that particular position. Uh, so those are some qualities as far as specific names. It's hard to say, right? The GM candidates' names, you could include some of those guys. Uh, maybe Champ Kelly is someone who could be that guy, and then you hire a GM as well. Uh, so we'll see what happens, Bear Forever, but uh, I appreciate the question. Uh, Brad Poss, how about Jacqueline uh, Davidson as GM? She's an up-and-comer, uh, talent uh, from Tampa. I'll be honest, I don't know a ton about her. I looked her up real quick, director of football research in Tampa. I don't know what her day-to-day -day looks like, uh, but... Uh, Look, in the future, I think seeing a female GM is very much a possibility. At the end of the day, if you know football, if you can evaluate talent, that's really all that matters. I don't think being a former player is a requirement for a general manager, uh, but uh, th that's interesting. I'll say this. Tampa's a really good franchise right now, so getting people from there is not a bad thing. <laughs> like, uh, they're, they're, they're doing some good things. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Johnny Roger, uh, would you take a chance on Antonio Brown next season? Oh, goodness. Uh, well, A.B., who is, was at the Nets game on Tuesday night, so he never even left New York. Who knows what the hell is going on with him? I want nothing to do with him, man. Look, I'm not going to be – there's a lot of speculation. Mental health, you know, and look, mental health is – like, I, I'm a strong defender of mental health because it's it's something that we ignored in this country for way too long – and we're finally taking it seriously. But at the end of the day, you have to hold, be held accountable, and you can't trust Antonio Brown. I don't know what's going on in his personal life. I don't want to be insensitive if he's got some uh, health issues going on. But, look, I can only go by what I know, and what I know is he quit in the middle of a football game. So um, I don't want anything to do with him. I would rather bring in a young guy to groom at the wide receiver position. But we'll ask you guys, should the Bears sign Antonio Brown next season? Type S for sign, type P for pass. Why not? Let's make it the pinned comment on today's video. So if you get hit with the YouTube ad break, just reply right there with an S or a P. Next question here, Joseph asks, do the Bears need a new C or G center or guard, draft or take a free agent? Uh, I mean, either is an option in terms of draft or free agent. Uh, Obviously, uh, less draft picks this year. Uh, I think uh, the answer is yes, maybe both. Um, I, you guys know I don't love Sam Mustafer. I think he's a backup. But if you get really good guards next to him, I guess you could get by with him. Uh, the question is, is Larry Borum a tackle or a guard long term? I saw Owen Cruz talk about this. He said he would kick him inside, go sign another tackle, and put Tevin Jenkins at right tackle. I don't know if a new regime would do that. Um but it'll be up to them, whoever that is. Uh, it'll be interesting, man. I, I think this team has has to really figure out how to refix, retool this offensive line. That That's a big priority this offseason. Quinn for Defensive Player of the Year. I love the name, uh, although I think it's going to be T.J. Watt. Signed Teron Armstead. He, he is from Illinois. Sure, I'm fine with that. Uh, anything to beef up this roster, I am definitely down. Embrog with Robert Quinn's season being so great. How many more Bears did the Bears uh, win this season with the 16 game healthy Mac? I have two. So two more wins. That feels maybe right. Um, trying to think of some of the close ones they lost that maybe they would have won with Mac. Minnesota was kind of close. Um, gosh. I'm drawing a blank in my brain. They've gotten blown out quite a bit, for being honest. Yeah, maybe two more wins. I, I don't think they're a playoff team with Khalil Mack uh, just because he wouldn't have fixed the offense. But uh, listen, Robert Quinn deserves a ton of credit. Uh, I am so impressed with how he's come back this year and had the season he had. I was very critical of him a year ago. I think it's pretty obvious there was something bothering him. He was injured. There was drop foot rumors, but he's back, man. 18 sacks. I hope he gets two more and gets 20. 
Uh, Justin Fields, we hope he continues to grow and he can be that franchise quarterback. If you believe in him, get a jersey. Chatsports.com slash Fields jersey. That link will be in the comments. It'll be in the description. 90 bucks. Usually it's over 100. Take advantage of this deal. Chatsports.com slash Fields jersey. The Navy ones are available for this price. So go check it out right now. Bad guy eyes. What does your gut feeling tell you is actually going to happen with GM coach and offensive defensive coordinator? <laughs> Coordinators are so tough because if you don't know who the coach is, how can I guess the OC? I guess Sean Desai could be the defensive coordinator. I think he's the one coach on staff that has a real chance of staying. But we'll see what happens. Oh, goodness. $20 super chat coming in. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, gut feeling. Uh, can we go back to that one, uh, Jack? Uh, we'll get back to that question. Uh, gut feeling on... GM coach, gosh, it's just so hard. My gut feeling, I'll say this, my gut feeling, I do think Pace gets fired. Uh, I've decided in my brain I think he gets fired. Not 100%, but I think he does. Nagy also gets fired. I don't know who they're going to hire, though, man. It's so nip and tuck. They're not really revealing much. Uh, I wish I could give you more bad guys. My dream is Sean Payton, and I don't care who the GM is. Um, Sean Payton and Ed Dodds would be the dream what do I think, though? I, I don't know until they start interviewing guys. It's so tough. I, I mean, I'm anxious, just like you guys are. This is critical juncture for the Bears right now. I apologize if I couldn't get a better answer there. Bear Down Productions, DJ Shark could be an underrated signing. I agree. Big receiver, a good hands. Talent's been hidden. I agree with all that. Uh, could be cheaper because he had an injury this year. Yeah, like, I don't want to go completely bargain bin hunting, but if you can't get some of the top guys... I, I take DJ Chark on a one or two year deal, and um, you know maybe you uh, maybe you uh, you know you get growth from Cole Komet, and maybe you draft a receiver. So yeah, I think that's definitely an option. The Duke twenty bucks. You guys are awesome. If we cross a hundred dollars, I'll take a shot. We're eighteen dollars away. If we cross a hundred, I'll take a shot. All right, the Duke from before G Green Bay plans to tag Adams if they can't get a deal done. Uh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, in the last mailbag, the Duke said he's staying in Adams. Sure, they could tag him, but if he holds out, the, they would probably tag and trade him. New question, though, can you all can you sell Mack and Quinn on a high note uh, to get a first-rounder and get a receiver? It's absolutely essential to get field to wide receiver one now. I think that's true. Uh, I don't want to trade both, but if I got a first out of it, I would consider it. Depends what receiver we're talking about. I do think you need a legit receiver opposite of Darnell Mooney. Um, and then, uh, obviously, maybe add a lineman or two. And then the offense, all of a sudden, boom. You get the right coach in there, I think you'd be in business. Alan Mack, if Daniel Jeremiah wants to become a GM, would you test the waters? I'd interview him. Uh, I think he's a smart guy. I like his draft coverage. Um, you know, Mike Mayock has kind of been pretty underwhelming as the Raiders GM, and he kind of took a similar path. He worked in TV for a while got the gig in Vegas, and he's been okay, but not great. Uh, but yeah, I'd interview him. I, I'm okay with that. He wouldn't be a top guy for me, but if he blows you away in the in the uh, interview, then sure. I mean, if you do your process and think he's the guy, then you got to trust your, uh, your gut feeling on that. DC Vipe, since we have seen Thomas Graham being a possible number two CB, who could be the nickel guy? Well, first of all, how about Graham playing really well, and then he gets four snaps against the Giants, and they blew out that team. That's a joke. Uh, that, that's what's, that's pissing me off about Nagy. He's playing Artie Burns. He's playing Jason Peters instead of Tevin Jenkins. Like, come on, play the young guys. That's where McCaskey should step in and say, hey, play the damn young guys. That pisses me off. But – um. So my point is, is I don't think we've seen enough to just say, yeah, he's the number two guy next year. Uh, I think he deserves an opportunity to compete. Maybe he could be the nickel, and then you sign a number two corner opposite of Jalen Johnson. But uh, uh, to wrap up that uh, little rant, uh, yeah, I like what I've seen from him, but you at least need to add one corner, whether it's an outside guy or a nickel guy. Are you a subscriber to us here at Chicago Bears now? Type Y if you are, or if you're not, Subscribe. Hit the sub button. Come on. Get those Ys in. And if you haven't, sub and then type Y because then you are a Bears Now subscriber. we got almost 450 people watching live. So, hey, uh, hit that sub button if you haven't already. And uh, type Y if you've already subscribed to Chicago Bears Now. Sam Ortiz, do you think we should trade Quinn or Mac? And if they can get a first try and get Chris Olave and put money on the offensive line. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you trade to get a first-round pick, 
obviously a wide receiver probably becomes the target or an offensive lineman. I, if you get into the first round, you better draft offense. That's all I'm saying. Um, and then, yeah, you could spend some free agency money on offensive line. That's an option. Uh, so, yeah, the answer is yes. Uh, we'll see uh, if Quinn and or Matt gets traded. I don't know yet. Tiger, 2308, is letting Patterson leave. Biggest mistake the Bears did at the beginning of the season. Uh, considering they could have had him for $3 million, yeah, that, that feels like a big mistake. Uh, you know, he wasn't this player in Chicago, but part of that's on Nagy and the staff to not – you know, utilize him in, you know, a more variety of ways. Kudos to Atlanta. But I will say, he's had a career year in Atlanta this year, and he's been around for a while. So it's not like it's just the Bears couldn't recognize how to use him. Uh, he just took off this year, and that's kudos to him. I'd like to bring him back next year for the right price. I think he could be a nice weapon on this offense. Caleb Clemens, do y'all think y'all will ever find a wide receiver one for Fields? Hope so. You know, I think Moody is an excellent number two. I'm not ready to call him a number one. Um, you get a legit number one opposite of him, that that changes things dramatically. So uh, hopefully it happens. Uh, big offseason coming up. Oh, guess who? It's my boy, Micro Mike. Should AB be the next GM for Chicago? Come on, man. Come on. Really, you're going to do me like that? That would be cheeks, to quote you, Micro Mike. And uh, love the thumbnail after the game on Sunday, by the way. Uh, if there are any Lions fans out there, go check out Micro Mike. Uh, he covers the Lions really well. All right, uh, appreciate all your questions. Follow me on Twitter, at HGramNFL. It's at HGramNFL. Uh, you can slide in the DMs over there. Always down to chop up some more Chicago Bears football. So give me a follow on Twitter, at HGramNFL.